Okay, we'll call the Forceful Town Board monthly meeting to order on Monday, May 16th at 6.30 p.m. at the Forceful Town Hall. As a roll call, please. Roll call. Roy Engelbert. Here. Larry Huber. Here. Jason Clahat. Here. Dina Schmidt. Here. And I'm Ruth Kirscher. And we have, now I forgot your first name. Joe. Joe Bader here also. Okay. Thank you. Is the agenda been properly noted? Yes, it has. Okay. And then that's the general presentation. A motion we got the agenda to present it here. It's posted. I second that. Motion made. And second, make changes. Uh, since Joe is here, I believe we will rather than keep him hold up till no, we got a lot to cover. What number is it? And 16C, grass cutting. 16C, let's okay. we'll move that up to the top. Huh? Move that up a little bit. We'll cover the minute. Of, if you move it up, we'll, we'll take that up right, right after public comments and correspondence. Okay. Is that change? All those in favor, please signal by saying aye. 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 Opposed motion carried. Next is the clerk's minutes. And we have those of the annual meeting and our monthly meeting on May 16th. Annual, annual meeting on April 19th and the yeah. monthly meeting on April 19th. It looks like an accurate depiction of what all transpired. Well, you end the annual ones. And the annual, yeah. two, two okay. Motion on yes, that? sir. Make a motion to uh, accept those two sets of minutes. I second that. Any changes? I'm not hearing none. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. Opposed? Motion carried. The clerk, the treasurer's financial report, please. Uh, cemetery checking, we have $40.69. <laughs> Cemetery Perpetual Care, we have $10,579.09. Cemetery Savings, we have $2,117.63. Town Checking, we have $1,572.34. The LGIP, oops, sorry, I missed. Money Market, I have $155,997.22. In the LGIP, we have $107,686.41. And then we also have now in the ARPA, $54,307.77. Okay, correction. There'll be $107,686.14. Yeah. So we didn't get that yet. Yeah, you said 41. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 14 cents. Sorry. No, that's all right. No, I'm glad you were listening. This is on the video. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're going to remember that today, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got some receivables, huh? Yes, we had two that Ruth had me send invoices, invoices out on? for. Yep. Okay. So they went out today. Okay. And we've got that uh, ARPA funds. Broken out so that broken actually out. came out of the LA, the LGIP. Yeah. So that's broke out, but it's still. It's all there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. It's just broke out in our books. Now, were those uh, perpetual care uh, receipts from the cemetery? Mm -hmm. Yep, they should be as a three hundred dollar deposit on first page. First page. Oh, sorry, second page. I'm sorry. Oh, here it is. Yep. Okay. Right. Those are the two Okay. Okay. I noticed for a description, if you put it in the memo part. I'm gonna it have to will, remember yeah, that mm -hmm. it will pick up. I think. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to put it in the yeah. memo. Yeah, these reports are getting better every month. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm liking the way it's coming out. This took time to get there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still wish I could break out the ones that, like, when you make a deposit, you have more than. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish I could break that out, but mm -hmm. unless without putting every individual one in. Right. Right. I don't know. Maybe that's what I have to do. I'm not sure. 
I'll make a motion. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, I'll make a motion to, to accept the treasury report as presented. I'll second that. With the correction? Yes, with, with the correction. Yes. correction. <laughs> You're in the treasury report accepted. Please take a motion. Uh, we have a motion in front of us to accept the treasury report with the correction. All those in favor, please sit by saying aye. All right. Opposed? Motion is carried. Okay. Correspondence in public. Do you have anybody online, Larry? No, I'm not seeing anybody ask to get in. So I have a few. Uh, let's just talk about the garbage collection. If I'm going. Remember, our contract is that if there's a price increase on fuel, mm -hmm. we will have a fuel surcharge. So February, January, and February we were okay, but in March we had a fuel surcharge of four hundred seventy-six dollars and ninety-eight cents. So that. Uh, was a dollar and three cents more for the month of March. And then in April, our fuel charge was 596.20. So that made the charge of a dollar and 28 cents more. So that's, uh, I don't know if we should post this, Ruth, but that's just the okay. nature of the beast that we're in right now. But so we have a fuel for surcharge and uh, we expected that. We didn't expect to see going that high, but that's what we got. Um, we have a test on our water, both nitrates and any other impurities absent. So we pass that test with flying colors. So, so absent of so, that. Is that when you do every quarter? The, we do it. Uh, the test for E. coli is done every quarter. Mm -hmm. The run for nitrates is done once a year. Okay. Okay. No, yeah, that's not. And um, we, uh, Ruth and I sat down with, like I mentioned last month, we sat down with the insurance man for, our, for us, for our property and our work on our property. And our new insurance bill is 3,429. Last year was 4142 was last year's statement, 4142. This year is 4,329. And what we changed, we went from a $250 deductible to $500 deductible and our, we have increased our limits per policy, but the, the big uh, one that we increased was what we have out in the, our outlying property at Rebellion, our fences, our bleachers. The last year we only had uh, 22,000, this year put $150,000 on it. So last year uh, our premium was $144 and this year is $729. One of the interesting things is that the baseball stand. that went down last year. It was, it was a $40 on 40,000 on that. Last year it was $161. That one down went down to $120. Mm -hmm. So so Ruth's going to was uh, it 161 or 116? 161. 161. It could be. I, I have a copy of the last year's. Okay, good. Right here. Uh -huh. So I wonder why that went down. The, Deductible went up. <laughs> oh. Deductible went oh. up, and they were charging. They looked at the map from the sky view, oh, deal, yeah. and there's a four foot overhang all the way around. Yeah. All the way around. So, so therefore, they were. Than, yeah, they thought it was bigger than it was actually. Okay. So, they were looking at the roof only. Right, roof up, right. yep, yeah, you know, roof only. You know. So that's the two little correspondence state that I have here. Um, you have it. Anybody else? We'll talk about this, I assume, down the road. Uh, no, everything there. is, I have that's, a few things that that's for the yeah. just to have. It's on the agenda to talk yeah. about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll leave for that. Was she coming today? No, no, she's not. She's in another board meeting. She's in another board meeting. Okay. <laughs> she's up at, uh, I believe she said she's in that so <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, we're jumping down right now to. Uh, yeah, she's in that NASA Item right, 16. 15C. 16C. There's another one. That's a different that's a different draft study. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got two quotes. Here's the decision we need to make tonight. Uh, whether we want to go with two cuttings at one in month of June and then one in month of September, 
or do we want to go with just one cutting of our grass on the roads during the month of July? Sturgeon Bay Town, Nassawabi Town, just cuts once a year. And you know how the roads look. If you travel, they get pretty high. Mm -hmm. um, That's a problem. Brussels is going to go twice a year. Uh, and most of the northern door goes twice a year. I think, I don't know what Gardner is doing. I didn't check with them. But here's the other problem. Last year, our grass cutting for twice was just a little over $14,000. It wasn't that long ago when our bid was down to $8,000 right, right. about, about eight years ago. And so we have two bids, one from Joe's Landscaping, uh, and who's here tonight, Joe's, Joe Vader's, that's our representative. Oh, okay. He has Apple equipment. And then we have another bid for the County Highway Department. So here's the bids for the Door County Highway Department for cutting 10 feet wide for the first cut and then up to the right of way on the second cut or tree line. Their bid was 17,895, 17,895. It's up over $3,000 from last year. No fuel surcharge? I was going to say, is there a fuel surcharge being yeah, on top right. of that? Yeah. Not to exceed the number. It's a firm. Oh, okay. Not to exceed, not right. to exceed okay. number. Just thought I'd ask. That's the thing you can ask. Mm -hmm. Joe's Landscaping, their bid for not to exceed the number for two cuttings is 16875 So a little over $1,000 less for two cuttings. Just one cutting. So just one cutting is for the county is 13,895. Joe's landscaping for just one cutting is 11,250. Uh, both places have, have the uh, ample equipment uh, as far as their sale bars and what, what have you. So, I guess the decision we want to make tonight do we want to save money and only go with one cutting, or do you want to go with two cuttings tonight this year? I'm I'm all for the two cuttings. That's just because it's that grass just get that bad. And then especially if you're cutting it in July. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it gets about that tall in July. Yeah, um, I know, but I'm saying, yeah. but by that by September, you're looking well, at that again. Well, right? Well, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Usually, yeah. It depends it's, on the gear. It's yeah, true. It September, October, I, I, I mean, it's always bad. Yeah. 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 I guess I'm in favor of cutting it twice a year mm -hmm. because otherwise it gets to some places gets really nasty. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially around the low spots when we yeah. you go down some of these roads through swamp right. areas and stuff. And boy, you, even, even in a dry year, you have tall grass. Especially in swamp area. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, do you have anything to add to uh, this? Just a, it's a separate price to use the boom board. We charge by the hour for that. It's one sixty-five an hour. For what's that? It's a boom board. Oh, oh okay. boom board. Yeah. 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 Eighteen to twenty feet. Oh. But we were we're not figuring on the boom more for the second cutting. Yeah. Um, the only time that machines gonna come out is it's gonna be way too wet. For the tractors to get in the ditch. Okay. Or if you guys have any trees or brushes in there. Okay. Let me take that machine. Because it can handle up to an eight inch tree. Yeah, you got one of those big knives on a, it's not a rotary. It's okay. <clears throat> well, we've had a lot of uh, a lot of our right of way through the county mm -hmm. coming through and clearing up. Yeah. Like that's that's what, that's there what, were other places. Yeah, there. when we have a lot of brush, we usually use, get a separate operation. Yeah, that's a, we, we look at that as part of our road maintenance. Main we're getting into it, you know. Yeah, right. I can do that too, and that's what I have for a separate price. Oh, I'm like I said, we charge by the hour for that. So, so and it's only going to be charged if we have a really wet year um, that we cannot get in because we ain't going to destroy the ditches. We're going to use that more instead. Usually, what we've done though, we've usually didn't cut if we couldn't get into the ditches to cut. That all you guys got to do is let me know. Yeah, that's that's usually how our township worked. Is that we didn't want to root, we didn't want to ruin the ditches, so we avoided it. You have the equipment now to do that if we wish. I guess is what we're saying. Yep. Yeah. You can cover a lot of territory in an hour. Um, um, well, it all depends. On what's there? Yeah, what's there? Reason the way. Okay. Okay. Um, how many driveways and culverts? 
it's, it's all so it's very maneuverable than that. That yep, it's okay. usually what we charge is 125 or more for okay. tra per tractor for cutting normal dishes. So and usually you can cover between so it's a mile on both sides, right? Usually you can cover between a mile and a half, two miles, you know. Mm -hmm. But you but your your price is not to exceed that. No, not to exceed. We charge by the hour. So it's gonna be per running tractor hour that we charge you. So it could be less than the 56.25 for the first study, or it could be right at 56.25. Or, okay, in this 11, second cutting could be less than 11, 250, yep. but not, mo not more. Not to see. Yeah, that's, right. what, that's what both yeah. of these bids are. Okay. So, like I said, we charge per running hole. Well, we've always gone pretty loyal with the highway department for several years. Um, I'm, I'm willing to step up and say, let's take a chance, give it a shot. Yeah. So. Oh, Joe, your reputation is, you know, <laughs> you've been, uh, you, yeah, I looked at his equipment mm -hmm. and he's got uh, service oil equipment. And you, you, you. And he's, I saw a tractor I hadn't seen before, a song. Oh, oh, I haven't seen those in years. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> I make a motion to lower Joe's landscaping for this year for two times. Two cuttings? I second that. And if there's a need for a flail for the boom more, then yep. that would be a separate <coughs> yep. road charge. Okay. Road maintenance charge. But you'd notify us if you felt I mean, you know this equipment better than, than I do, I'm sure. No, it's, it's very simple. Joe, yeah. Joe's been doing this for a while. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> and so the. Uh, your billing procedure, Joel, you bill after the first cutting? Yes. Okay, and then you bill after the second cutting. Okay. And if he deems it necessary that he has to use that boom mower, you guys would be no Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. We, and we could look yeah. at that as opposed to right. being one. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. Mean, right. right. Because that's really what we've done with the county. Yeah, we've, yeah, we've never used a boom mower. No, but when we did have stuff clear, yeah, yeah. like we did last fall, it was always under road maintenance. Mm -hmm. Flush removal. Okay. okay, we have a motion on the floor then to go with the quote, the quote, the quote from Joe's landscaping for two cuttings for no more than sixteen eight seventy five, sixteen thousand eight hundred seventy five. We don't let you know the proof of insurance too. Yeah, I would have to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We do it to. I can give you my. I would second that motion. Yeah, motion. You second it. Yep. Right, second. Any further discussion? Any further questions? Um, for debris and stuff in the ditch, do I notify for that? You would notify me for debris in the ditch. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we, especially if there's stones that more than usual, let me know. You can't go across stones. And of course, you're not going to be able to cut there. So you just have to avoid that. But the same thing with trees that are in the way that fell. The trees that fall, you just have to avoid that. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, they're all picked up. Yeah, well, hopefully, we'll have them picked up. <laughs> I'm working on that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, very good. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Joe has also got the. Uh, you never emailed. He's, he's got the uh, town of Union cutting. Uh, Russell's, uh, uh, for some odd reason, the county was less than Joe's. Wait, so they went with the county. Oh, let's see. The county was quite a bit less than Joe's. Yeah, yeah. Thank mm. you. Mm -hmm. How many municipalities does he cut? Hmm? I'm only cutting in Union and New Guys. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Um, we do a lot of work with them. Okay. Uh, is there any other questions for you? No. No, it was good. Uh, we'd like to have them cut by the end of before July 1st is the first cutting. The only reason it wouldn't be is the whole month of June is right. right. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Be. yeah. It's just weather for me. Yeah. And then if you guys, if you want us to hold off a little bit later, just gotta let me know. Does it mean so, the first second cutting? Second cutting or like first cutting, mm -hmm. all of a sudden it just dries up. Yeah, you bet could happen. Yeah, that could happen. Yeah. So yeah. All you gotta do is just like oh, oh now the crops are getting underground. He's the point of contact. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
You just signed and signed a contract? Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, thanks. Uh, oh, this is new one. Yeah, I, I, I emailed this. I didn't know, Ruth, if you saw that one, but I put new names on the bottom. Oh, okay. Wasn't that on there? Yeah, it was on there. Um, was Kevin Shartner on there? Yeah, I, I sent this out. Did you send it out? Okay. I'm just, I was going to say, I thought yeah. it was. Mm -hmm. yes. Put it in your file. For yes, your file. <laughs> for your file. I have been using the new ones, and they're selling like hotcakes. Um, <laughs> uh, the um, oh, get backing up to the contract. We have, according to what we, from five thousand to twenty four thousand nine ninety nine, we have to post that we awarded the bid on our Joe, okay on our little okay mm -hmm. and, oh, on the website and on the website, on the website too. Website. Okay. okay, so send me a posting and I'll put it out. And then I can sign it and mail it to them. That was one of the requirements. Okay. Um, just a little update uh, on our fire department. We don't have any representatives here today, but uh, so I can't tell you anymore. But the uh, annual meeting at Massawapi, one gentleman got up and read an eight-page letter as to why they feel that Massawapi should be by themselves. And in uh, the Pulse on uh, May 13th, uh, it says that on May 2nd board meeting, Sullivan said the board selected West and Dunn Law Firm based in Manawak County provide the town with legal advice should it should it decide to leave the Seven Door Fire Department. So uh, they have, if if and when they do notify the Seven Door Fire Department that they wish to leave, there's one year time frame. Mm -hmm. And so it's just for your information. There's nothing to be done right now, but just know let you know what's, what's going on. So if they leave, that puts Forestville on their own. Mm -hmm. Forestville, Forestville village, and village and Playback. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All comes out of Forestville. Yeah. And yeah. We could go into the reasons of why not they should leave, but that's the, the decision. Yeah. I, well, they're also we're looking at possibly moving to a five-person board. Well, that's another that's another subject. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, and moving on to the. Sanitary district, anything to report there? No, no, okay. except the bill that we, yeah, except so the bill we just sent out yeah. or the invoice we just sent to them. Yeah. Okay, for it was for the election. Um, they paid, they were supposed to pay in November. Well, in December, I sent it to them and in, they sent me two checks one from the sewer and one from the water district. And it was made out to Wisconsin Media, but I had already paid it because I didn't want to pay interest on it. So I, I had sent it in. So then I sent the checks back, I think January or February, and they didn't send them back yet. So then I told Dina just bill them again. Oh, okay. So, Very good. Yeah. Okay, cemetery report, Larry. We've got two burials this month, and we are scheduled to do a spring cleanup on Wednesday. I hope there's no rain, but I got it all lined up to be done. Okay. okay. And Dina got the perpetual care for both of those burials, and they happened within a day of each other. It's kind of a busy time. Busy month. We have a lot of things going on. Yeah. Right. And uh, Jason also did fill in that uh, other grave site that we had, the winter burial. <coughs> for, uh, not for Riddle, my son, and then there was another burial we had during the, in January. Mm -hmm. I can't think of who it was. But he, he, of course, and he couldn't finish, you know, he, so he finally filled it filled with, yeah. with topsoil and seeded down. So as a part of those two burials, he finished it off. So we're up to date there. We just have to clean up the mess we have out there as far as uh, old decorations and, you know, Funeral sprays, <laughs> markers. They're blowing down the dead. There, I saw they were blowing down the dead. Well, yeah, they were. Yeah. They had some pretty wicked things. Yep. Sure. Yeah. I'm just glad we took down some of those trees. We had a we had a bunch of wood on the road. <laughs> okay, moving on to the American Rescue Plan ARPA money. Uh, so far. We've uh, we haven't taken any money off of that, but we've got uh, we're 
we got the high gov expense is going to go charge against that and our town siding was going to get charged against that so uh we didn't talk about any other things we can do about, about that well we may if we get into this discussion on this uh website renewal and integration oh gov, that may be a qualified expense mm -hmm. as well okay. for our funds mm -hmm. minimal amount but the other kind of fund we have is a BIL, the bill, bill fund. Now, the bill fund, bipartisan infrastructure law. It's, I mentioned before, the only thing that's eligible are town roads and bridges. Unfortunately, about 35% of all the expenses for this particular projects will be administration expense. First of all, you have to hire an engineering firm, firm either City uh, Cedar or Ayers or Robert E. Lee. And then if it gets approved, then you have to hire a different engineering firm, firm to do the layout. So to develop the build plan? Yep. Yep. Can't use the same one. We had a meeting with a Zoom meeting with Mike Gallagher here last week and Mike Coles did an ex excellent job of explaining what our problem is, is that very likely very few of any small towns will qualify or do the work. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Baldwin Engineering in Sturgeon Bay is not capable of doing the work. And we have to go with the big firms out of Green Bay to, to do that. They, uh, NASA probably already tried, tried them. <clears throat> One township, they have applied for it. They put three roads together. And uh, so they came up with a big project. They came up with a half a million dollar project by putting three roads together. Mm -hmm. They hired heirs. And the first go around, we had to have that application in by May 3rd. The next go around is August 3rd. Uh, if you will come to the meeting on Thursday, you will hear uh, what we will talk about. It, that very likely no small towns will be doing any of this work, but if you want me to, I will contact heirs and I will suggest that we combine Old Elm Road between 42 and O, and then Old Krieger Road, and then West County Line Road. That's, we've submitted those before for- Individually. Well, we, individually for TRIS and TRID, and we didn't get anything uh, this past. So if we were to combine the three, Three, then we'd, we'd be up there about four hundred thousand dollars. We remember not including engineering costs. That, well, that yeah, we covered the whole trip. We, well, we'd be spending we'd be spending about three thousand, four thousand dollars, and not in being assured we'd get it. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. In 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 order to make your application, you have to incur that engineering mm -hmm. expense on the front end. Yeah. And you may or may not then to crapshoot. And then who does the grant application? Uh, the engineering, the, 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 the heirs would do it for you. They would do it, yeah. and that would be the one engineering cost. That's right. Should it be awarded, then we have to have a different engineering cost, engineering yep. cost for design then, work. Yep. And that's usually 20% of the value of the project. Yeah. <laughs> And it has to satisfy the federal procurement regulation. Once it gives, once you get the project, they're in charge of it. They're in charge of it completely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, whether they're going to make it easier for us, I don't know. I wouldn't guarantee it, but uh, it's, uh, and there's $15 million for the state of Wisconsin. Ain't nothing. That, yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you get my son. That's exactly mm -hmm. ain't nothing there. No. I mean, you're going to go through a lot of expense and for nothing. Yeah, yeah. As I see. That's that's what my take on it. Unless we could use some of our ARPA funds to pay for that engineering up front. Well, well supposedly the engineering in this school round, from now on, engineering and design is all you can include that in that whole oh, thing. Okay, okay. Yeah. But it, you, it, and it's yeah. an 80 20, right? By okay. the way, it's 80 20. In the infrastructure law, mm -hmm. but I, I'd much rather take what monies we have in the ARPA mm -hmm. funding and consider instead uh, ventilation, high capacity filtering, mm -hmm. air conditioning for when we're 
in a new sealed building mm -hmm. if we're doing the outside. I think that's much wiser expenditure right. for money. Right. So I I think that we'd just be throwing money out the window and not getting much in return. That's my sentiments that I wanted to run past you if you mm -hmm. feel it's worth the effort to go through and I'm afraid it's not. Okay, we'll move on. Okay, uh, Dork County course zone information. I don't have anything on that. Uh, did you get did that this, that they sent you this letter? Yeah, I forwarded it to everybody. It's a, yeah, I checked today and I oh, was on there. No, oh yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, we didn't yeah, I didn't we didn't get anything. So that's why yeah. I didn't. right, <laughs> right. Yeah, right. We're that's not right. being charged. And I got another uh, letter to, well, it was in their uh, packet for May. It was a 54 page packet and I copied page four and five. I'll just give it to you how they're, you know, we would be, they would be paying the money, but that they could be getting some back if they do certain projects yeah. for tourist attractions. Yeah, they get 30% back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. what that's about. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. 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 that part of it. Yeah, yeah. We, we, but we don't have to pay anything according to that. Well, no, we, we, no, we didn't no. get anything. No, no. that. Now that you mentioned mm -hmm. it, yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> but eventually, maybe we might be getting something, and that's something to if, if they put a if they put a uh, for... four story hotel someplace. <laughs> there you go, Maplewood. Yeah, Maplewood. Yeah. Yeah. Maplewood yeah. High Rise. Okay. I'm not yeah. going to go there, Jason. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we didn't do anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jessica Hatch is the new person with Door County Broadband. Uh, the only thing about Port that you heard. Our president say we're going to get in five years. Everybody will have fiber. We're going to have fast broadband all over the United States. Okay, I don't know. And then, then the next thing I heard is that Bertram B E R T R A M purchased Door County Broadband, and they are also a fiber provider. So not only are they going on with towers, they're also a fiber provider. So there's a lot of things going on broadband that. Uh, I also saw something Jessica said she had was aware, but couldn't get any information from Century, CenturyLink. CenturyTel, yes. Century, yeah, for tell. Yes, yeah. They lose into whatever name they go by. Well, I heard they were sold too, so I don't know what name they are now. Yeah, I have no idea. So supposedly they've been bought out. Supposedly they're making changes. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, unless we have something in concrete, we can't pursue this mm -hmm. at all. We'll find out about how Bailey's Harbor is doing this Thursday. Well, well I that. think. Uh, from what I had understood, she wants. I got this email from her, you and I, I guess, with two points of contact. Yeah. And uh, I did not respond to her. I was just, there was too many things going on for me at that point in time. But the fact of the matter is, she wants to get committees going. Well, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Whenever we figure out, you know, what is it can be done. But I, it, she's, basically looking at making sure everybody's got access to everything. Mm -hmm. Well, at this point in time, we haven't gotten any information from mm -hmm. her and right. she's too busy to be here tonight. So mm -hmm. if, if and when she has time to come and present, I think we should listen. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. that's as far as I would And that's her goal is to present mm -hmm. to all townships as their right. goal. Okay, Larry, you're next. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Hi, Doug. Hey, I, hey, Doug. Yes. Okay. Two things that we have to deal with tonight. Uh, we talked about this uh, a proposal for our website uh, to get a three year contract and contract for three years of service on maintenance of our site and also an initial redesign of our site, effective as this fall. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the three years, we would have another design part of it because we paid on the front end. So their intent would be to make a redesign every three years on the website to integrate things. So that uh, was one proposal we have to deal with tonight. And the other one has to do with the um, 
reservations reserves, hay, hay, hay reserve, whatever mm -hmm. you call it. I'm going to share some. Well, let, let's, okay, let's deal with the first one. Okay. No, let's yeah, take, we'll do, let's, 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 take, let's take them one at a time. Take that yes, first right. one first uh, on our website. And our, uh, that's, uh, with, it's on, it's the same thing that's ongoing right now. We have a, we have the that. same company. Yep, it's the same company, different players, but it's the same company. In other words, we go to Town Web Design, they host our website, mm -hmm. and they uh, provide any updates changes whatever we need mm -hmm. and they've been good at that Ruth sends me stuff if I run into issues then I just say here this is an issue fix it mm -hmm. they do that in the event that I wasn't here to do what I do Ruth would just send an email and they would update the website mm -hmm. post minutes post uh, notices mm -hmm. um, add pages do whatever has to be done uh, that you had a, the tall cop program. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's recycling. There's all kinds of little things. We had a, another inquiry. Um, Ruth, you sent me a thing with regard to uh, nursing homes or, or care facilities yes. within the town of Forestville. Mm -hmm. Well, there is the, what it is. It's really county. Mm -hmm. What the county doors keep on the county homes. Well. The question is always a matter of do we add that as a notice to our website or not? And we've resisted that basically because it's not focused on the town of Forestville, but it's countywide in nature. And so that's where stuff from Ken Pavich would take and put a list of, you know, resources they can get in the county. And yeah, that's on the county website, yes. Yeah. yeah. And then so we link to that, mm -hmm. and that's as far as I've ever gone with that. Yeah, so that's a, I think that's where we can stop. That's but right. but the, the point being that uh, rather than doing it as a, um, you know, as far as our website is concerned, whatever has to be done out there, updates with notices, meeting notices, minutes, uh, agendas, all that sort of thing, I post them only ordinances, resolutions. I post them only because I do, and I'm in mm -hmm. the maintain point of contact. But whoever is clerk or whoever else is on the board gets assigned the responsibility, they take care of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm in favor of going ahead with this three year contract. Uh, the last time we did it, it was, um, let's see. They want $808, $808 a year, okay? Mm -hmm. Annual maintenance and support package. Uh, it would be effective the 1st of September, and it includes the domain name fee. Uh, on a three-year contract with the $15, uh, that $15 per year, what is the annual cost? Is eight hundred twenty-three dollars with the domain? Eight hundred twenty-three dollars. Yes, with the domain. Yeah. And what what was it before? Uh, the last time we well the the one I the original one last September we paid uh, seven hundred and three. Seven hundred three. And, Total, what, and that included the domain. They want, uh, so the domain doesn't change. That's still fifteen, <clears throat> but they it was six eighty eight, and it's up now. So they raised one hundred twenty bucks a year. Right. But that would then lock the price in for three years. Mm -hmm. That would be the price for the next three years. And then there's a uh, the web design setup fee, $799. That $799 would give us a redesign this fall and a redesign in three years. So that would give us two designs. That would make it the total cost of $1,622. Now that's what we would pay on September 1st. Well, we could pay it at any point, but it would be effective starting as of September 1st. In yeah. other words, it would extend our existing contract from September 1st forward. But, okay, so are we get a, for so 799, we get a redesign, and then at the end of three years, we get another redesign. Correct. So, we will be paying sixteen twenty two for one year Correct. and eight twenty three for the next two years. Correct. That's that's how I read this. That's exactly right. And then at the end of the three years, 
then we start all over again with a new figure or a new design. So no, a new maintenance. New maintenance agreement. Because we'll have a new design at the end. For another $799? I know. I believe that that will, once every three years, that may so you're saying that design. that seven ninety nine will do two, this two. fall and then do three years from now. Correct. We're going to get two redesigns. That's what they said, and that's in the that's in this contract. If you can find it, it's there's a lot in there. It's the way this thing is. No, that was right here. This is the thing I sent out a couple months ago. Yep. Yeah. If you sign up for this at $7.99, you get a no cost web redesign every three years. We get one now and one at the end of three years. And uh, web design and setup fee one time. A one time fee, yeah. we get one now and we get one in, in the three years. The term, well, here it is. Fee would be 823 plus 799. You decide to upgrade your site. This is paid year one. Mm -hmm. The second year and the third year fees are the same as the first year's fee. And then, well, I'm trying yeah. to read it upside down. Right. But there, there it is. So in essence, they're getting us a no cost web redesign every three years. One at the beginning, and one at the end. At the end of the three year period. Yeah. Okay. So, in my way of thinking, that locks our pricing in. And it also will allow us then to completely integrate the things we're also doing with the payments and such. Now, do, in, in this whole thing, do we have to do like a monthly payment of our services though? With, you know, like mm -hmm. on some sites like my site, uh, we used to have they've said pay like twenty five dollars per item I'm selling at that point, and no. there's nothing on there. Okay, so we've never had a bill other than the annual bill. Okay, mm -hmm. every year. Yeah. yeah, since we started this thing. So they will send you a contract. This is not the contract. There. This is the contract. Oh, that's the contract. There. Yeah. So there's the signature page, and they got it filled out. So. Prior to your third year of hosting, we'll schedule a meeting with you to discuss new ideas for your new site design, incorporate right. the latest, greatest design standards of Evolve for the next following three years so that your new site three years from today will be modern, practical, and up-to-date. Mm -hmm. So that's the no cost every three years. Mm -hmm. We have one now and one at the end of three years. The rate, though, for the next three-year period would be whatever the rate is in effect at that point in time. Mm -hmm. But here, 24 seven technical support, all you can eat. <laughs> in essence, mm -hmm. it's all you, it, whatever you need done. Mm -hmm. So your staff, uh, let's see, all it takes is a call, email or a chat message, including Facebook Messenger, and we can help your staff with their questions or issues and for no additional charges, we can even post or edit something on their behalf. This type of support will save your staff and time, money, time and money. Choosing a three-year commitment locks in your annual pricing, means no price increase whatsoever for the next three years. So to me, it's basically two web designs. Mm -hmm. One at the beginning of the three-year period, which starts as of September 1st mm -hmm. this year, mm -hmm. and one at the end. Mm -hmm. And then, You'll still have hosting and maintenance fee, which is the 823. 823. 808 plus the 15. Yeah. So, uh, and then if I heard you correctly, then they're going to meet with us before September 1st? Or... Whenever I want to start. Okay. So they said, whenever you're ready, okay. we'll, we can get started. Well, we're doing stuff all the time, mm -hmm. but that's with Hake Up. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's, it, it behooves us to do this. Because then it makes all the pieces come together. We do a redesign. We'll have to look just mm -hmm. like we did the last time. Right. All right, we got this. What do you think of this? Mm -hmm. And we didn't like certain things. So we changed it as we went along. We just changed it. 
it's redesigned. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take a little effort. And quite frankly, I'd much rather see a start that process in the fall right. than in the, right now. Yeah, yeah, we won't care. So to that end, I make a motion that we that we accept this contract proposal and go with them for three years. And I would second that. Okay. Any further discussion? Motion on the floor is to accept the contract from the name of the company is Tom Web Design. Tom Web Design for uh, annual fee is $823, and the first year is an additional $799 for a total charge of $1622 starting on September 1st, 2022. Correct. Further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion is carried. You have that, Ruth? Yes. Okay. Uh, Larry, I had a question now. What, what you said now, if somebody, now I had someone that rented the town hall for June 4th. Well, I that's have it in the my next books. piece. Okay. This. Okay. But they would, you could just call them or email them and they would make a change. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's, well, that was my big concern. Okay. What I'd like to do is just share a screen if I can um, and show you what it is. I want to share this. Share that. All right. I'm going to go. This is our existing website mm -hmm. now. And everything we have here always has this little, they call this a little widget, mm -hmm. uh, which says you want to submit something and we can put in, you know, dog license, uh, culvert permits, mm -hmm. and such like that. Uh, there's this is what we work with when we go as the as the individuals who are responsible. So this was that driveway permit that we issued last month. We had a little difficulty with it. Dina, this is your, your mm -hmm. son's stuff. Mm -hmm. It's approved. They paid. So 91 cent went to the processing company. $20 came into the treasury. And I'm assuming that came through a uh, Stripe account directly to our bank account. You should have seen that, the receipt for that. Um, what year was that? Uh, 26 days ago, so would that- Oh be no, that's, it was approved 28 days ago. We can go to that and look at it. It was- um, 420. Yeah. Right? 420 we sent that? Yeah, yeah. This when they started the application. He has a bank And then finally, I couldn't get that thing oh, yeah. originally Look approved. And so yeah. I finally got it on 424. There should have been a deposit of 424 on 424. So this is a this is the place we can look. What was the permit? What did it look like? Um, you know, everything that was put in there and completed and signed. And then they processed the thing. That was a permit number we, we used. But what we had to do is I had to add that wording saying inspection complete, because mm -hmm. you already looked oh. at that. Oh, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I put the $20 in, but I didn't know what it was for. It just says, hey, go. Yeah, that's what it's yes. for. Oh, okay. And, and when, when we get this thing working, all the way around, everybody will be. We can now see that. If you went into Hey Doug, you could see this one. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Should we have to track that in her in her sense? Does that have to be then tracked separately with a, a disclaimer next to saying Hey Doug was for this fee it, for? Well, believe us, we all got there. messages. Yeah, yeah. we, we yeah. all got it. How many got all those emails? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so it'll take it. Yeah. yeah, so I put it in Hey Hey Gub. Didn't know what it was. So well, I, I did, think did, we did just have to put it up. in a drive a driveway permit or yeah, yeah I never thought of looking could, there. Yep. Put well, Derek I know, but that's that's the first one. It's I remember one, in yeah. your brain now. Yeah, Derek Shop you know, <laughs> driveway permit. Yeah. Put the name too. Yep. Yeah. 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 And Derek and Kayla. I ran into the same thing too when we were doing that whatever uh -huh. stuff. Okay. So this is this is where you know when we go to the home page or we go to this activity page. It'll tell us what we are looking at. Now, when we had this 
open and not approved, it kept marching across this timeline saying, it's open, it's open, you need to do something, you need to do something. Mm -hmm. And we tried to make that happen and we couldn't. Mm -hmm. And then I discovered why we couldn't, because when I said it's approved and I looked down into the body of the thing, I had to actually put this message in there to say it's complete. Oh, that's complete. what stopped the that's what stopped the approval mm -hmm. process. So when you're going to prove something, you really have to go in there and say what well, it's it's approved. You got to say something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just one of the base requirements. So that's the how the monies had come in. Okay. So it says this has been approved. And you know, when you're looking at the detail, it's approved. And so, that was that. So when you so when you go so okay, someone goes in and requests a driver permit or whatever. So does it go to all of us? Well, here, here, uh, let me show you the, the departments. In the departments, when you look at this, we're all members of the administration department. There are six members here, and those six members get this message. Okay. So Ruth, Roy, myself, Jason, Dina, and Thomas. He, you know, he's the guy that, that I deal with on the detail of this thing. So those are all members of the department and they get the notice. And I did that because I thought, well, gee, if it just goes to the finance department, I'm an administrator, it would then only go to you two and me. And I thought, no, I tried playing with the department member instead of the admin, and it turns into confusion. So I said, look, everything is going to go to administration. We'll all be notified of it. Mm -hmm. We'll go from there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's that is when you when you log in and you do a drop down, you go to the departments, and there you are. You can look at you know various other things in here, town detail and everything else. But what I want to look at is this particular item over here, which is our bookings for the town of Forestville. All right, now in this area, we have our ordinances and everything else. I'm going to go into, I took a couple of pictures, small meeting room, large meeting room, pavilion, I haven't taken a picture there. We actually have three venues. Mm -hmm. We have meetings in this room and meetings in that room, and it's conceivable we could have somebody out yeah, there in the pavilion. Yes. And when you start looking, Ruth did a nice job of providing you with a whole list of uh, reservations: who's here, and when, and why. Oh my! <laughs> and I said, "Well, great. Wait a minute. What time of day? Well, are these daytime meetings or are these evening meetings? Right, right. Our ordinance lists." No time. <clears throat> so you rent, let's say, oh, I rent, they rent it out of a meeting room, mm -hmm. family gathering, graduation, whatever. And they want the large room or they want to use just the small room. You said you have somebody meeting in here on the 24th? Mm -hmm. Just no, tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow, here mm -hmm. and there. Mm -hmm. We'll have a board of review going on in there that we couldn't rent out. If we've got a group that's meeting right, here. Right. However, if we did rent out to two different groups, you have income here and there. Mm -hmm. But do you charge $75 for both? If they're town residents, $100 for both if they're non residents, mm -hmm. and the $25 for the pavilion? And are they going to be all day or are they only going to be daytime or evening yeah. time? Do we have time slots? I don't know. Mm -hmm. And this is why I wanted to bring it up because this is the kind of stuff that these venues talk about. So if I go into a venue, I'm going to go into this venue and I'm going to look at the settings. And it, it has, I can put more pictures, I can put all kinds of information about it, but then I can also go in here and say availability and I can add a time slot from to when's it available when is it what's the deposit what's the price mm -hmm. our ordinance doesn't clearly delineate 
that you are talking about a small room as opposed to the large room right. or the pavilion. We have three venues. Mm -hmm. So I did nothing with this at this point. And if I take a look, this is what the people would see on the website mm -hmm. from a public perspective. Here's our large meeting room and here's its availability. And I would have, they could then go in and, you know. So what you'd have to do is for the large room, the large room would get the kitchen. Yes. The and small would have room have would more, have nothing. I would have more pictures. I'd have to say, well, this is the meeting room yeah. and this is the kitchen. It includes the kitchen. Mm -hmm. This room is this room. It doesn't have the kitchen access because that's associated with that room. And you can close the door between these two areas. So you have two separate areas that right. could be used simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, you could have somebody only using this room reserved. I don't know who's in this room. Sometimes I come in here and there's all kinds of chairs in here. They've moved all these black chairs and used to stand one. So th that, if you will, has been my dilemma, and I've been trying to work my way through, and, and it's uh, it's been a little uh, challenging. I've got the venues created. I didn't I haven't put pictures out, and I, I haven't added anything. When I get to this, I can go in here and I can say, well, I want to add uh, uh, I want to add a meeting on this day, and here I can say. Well, who's going to, you know, I can look at all of those things for that room. Mm -hmm. So this actually, once we figure out how we're going to do it, how we're going to charge for it, then I'm in a position where we can actually start setting up the reservation system. And the idea here, quite frankly, uh, is that as somebody is looking, let's say, at a, a room here, and we want to, I got to go back to the, um, let's see, let's go to that room again. Uh, this is what, what I don't want to publish it, but I want to look at the public page. This would be the large meeting room. And I can, I can, I can start manipulating that. Now, how did I get myself next up here? Oh, interesting. I've, I've highlighted everything. My fault. So if I look at the um, public page, this is what it would look like. And then. Question. Yes. Why do all the numbers have a little slashes through the dates? They're not available because they're not published. Oh. So this is all. And what I want to do is I don't want to publish this or make it public until such time as we've got the reservations in here okay, gotcha. for all the non-profit no, yeah. so, right. so the ones that already have it booked you basically got to let them have it, all of it right mm, no well boy, necessarily yeah. okay not necessarily we haven't put this out ruth has it on her notebook mm -hmm. and she knows who's here when mm -hmm. what are they using and i could so i called her and I said, okay, well, what are we doing here? Uh, she's got, you know, the Girl Scouts are in the small room, Board of Reviews in the large room. Mm -hmm. um, and and you, so, you know, you've got multiples happening. And then, the, well, when does East Maplewood homemaker, I was asking that question earlier, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. East Maplewood homemakers, where do they meet? Which room do they use? Or the 4-H or the Legion? Mm -hmm. Or where do they meet? Yeah. And when is that just an evening operation or is that a daytime operation? Mm -hmm. We've not got anything that delineates that. So all we ever had is one thing available per day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. May not yeah, be yeah. A... What happened to the window? It broke. Oh. <laughs> I just noticed it just my window strings. <laughs> anyway, so my question is <laughs> you're in California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Baseball. So my oh, question okay. really is, it really boils down to how then do we really want to use, how do we want to use this tool? What do we want to do? Do we want to look at our ordinance maybe? So if we do this and they call Ruth, does Ruth have to just say, well, you have to go online and book it? Well, we can take money for it, yeah. Oh yeah, because if we go up here, let us, 
I mean, is that is that yes. what she if she can't yeah. just do it unless she, or you have no, yeah, you because they got to pay well, for we it. Would, we would go out here and we can say, here's what we're going to be charging. Here's what the availabilities are. We can create time slots. We can say, in, you know, not only can we have time slots, but we can set fields, pricing. We can add a field if we want. We can we can do whatever we want, mm -hmm. um, but right now we don't have the we don't have the, uh, the we just don't have the pieces in place. But what, what I'm saying is, if somebody calls Ruth, does Ruth have to say, "Well, you can't you have to book it online. I can't take any reservations." Because you would be able to go in here, and we can ask them. They can go online and say, "You know, I'd like to submit this, confirming that." And we can we get a notice saying the hall's been booked. You'll get ability to pay for it online with the processing fee, and the deposit can be a charge. We also have the ability to replace or to refund after inspection, but it would all come in the form of email and online. Do we have to accept that reservation then? I would imagine so. I haven't got that. That was my big you. question too, because I have a person that reserved it for June fourth. Well, now it's canceled, so I would have to go and email them and tell tell them to change it to cancel that. You then would just you will go in and enter a cancellation. Oh, I I would have to do it on the computer to cancel it. Right. Okay. So you would you would cancel it, and then again, I have to work with Thomas to have him put the facility in place to say issue that refund, mm -hmm. but they don't get back the processing fee. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So the only way we're going to accept this now is through here and through a credit card, or a bank. Can they put a bank account in? Well, it'll be it'll be uh, through the Stripe. The money would come in through the strike, the reservation money, and the the deposit, if you will, that would ultimately be refunded if everything's okay, doesn't get moved into until after you've gone in and said, okay, we can refund their deposit. But yes. the only way you can pay is with a credit card. Unless you physically, I would assume physically come in and say, well, I want to book this day. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I'm asking. Can that's we a, do that? I'm thinking you still can. I, I would. They could. You could still come to the clerk and reserve it and, clerk and pay it. Just yeah. pay, it, pay it by pay check. It. Yes. And the clerk would. The yeah. Would just have to go in and reserve right. it. Yeah. That yeah. Because there's a certain age demographic that that will not. So is this more on. work for her or oh, yeah. less work for? Yeah. Her. More work. Yeah. And a lot of people don't pay. I tell them because rather than reserving it five months from now and then paying me now and then canceling it two right. months prior and then I'd have to refund the money. I always tell them pay me when you pick up the key. That's, yeah. And pay that me. works out really pay good. Me five when you pick up the key. Yeah. They pay. We can make that a one of the rules. So yeah. I think I, for I, now just, getting it set up there, let's keep it as simple as we can. Yeah, it's as far as not right dividing, now. not trying to divide this building up to have two meetings and Right now, just one meeting a day. I think we want to just, you know, will you book it for the third? You got the whole facility. We don't care right now until this thing gets work. If you try to put too many, too many things in here, it's going to be very. Well, I, all I'm all I'm doing is saying that these options are out there, mm -hmm. and we already have a double booking mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Or if they when they go on, but are they actually pay, are they actually paying for it? Well, no, no, that's the beauty. Yeah. That's the beauty yeah. of this. No. Because yeah. it's board of review and it's a nonprofit, right? Uh, Using yeah. Program. So a lot of people, I don't know if they would be. I I wonder if they would be unhappy with someone else being if they're having a party or something mm -hmm. out there and there's a meeting in here. Mm -hmm. Would someone else be unhappy with? Oh yeah, they have, yeah, you yeah, feel it's yeah. not a secure building. Right. Your walls, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I I have no problem with it. Yeah. It's just I just I ran into to this and was like, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. You know, here here. Mm -hmm. Do we have it every time you reserve it? That's the day. Yeah. You have to reserve for but this. it's not it's not sound, I don't think, enough to 
for a meeting in here, and then there's people out there screaming and kids are hollering and well, we'll find out tomorrow. I was thinking of something else, and this is just going way out there. But um, let's suppose, you know, because still we have Ruth and they kind of go through, it's like a filter. Right. Um, so like say, say some guy decides he wants to have a bachelor's party here. And for, you know, they got a truckload of strippers and everybody coming in. Do you really, I mean, <laughs> you give you, well, you, first of all, you don't know the people. That are yeah, exactly yeah. right. We don't, we, you, you go online, you can book the date on online on the building and then have this big party come in and all of a sudden it's like, if they're non resident, it's a hundred dollars. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, hundred dollars, but what kind of damage could they do to have a hundred dollars? But that, they're, they're responsible that's, that's for that. The responsibility yeah, that's the care too. Yeah. So, so I guess I mean, you know, it's all right. I'm just looking at different. Right, right now, we have a big. Filter. We have it. You know, we have a big filter right now in uh, personal doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have personal. a big filter. You filter that. So you're not the same individual comes in and says, right. "I want to write it." You see. No, no, I guess not. Because if I was given a different time in my life and that was the situation, I'd be like, oh, I'll book a room here and we're going to have this yeah. massive. And, party. you know, in, in a way, too, we're very lenient because someone will book the hall. Mm -hmm. And now I, I know like Michelle Gonzalez, she's booked it for July 2nd. She'll come in on July 2nd, pick up the key. And then at night, she'll ask me, oh, can we clean in the morning? Which they do. They do an excellent job cleaning. And I'll say, as long as you're out by 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. you know, because there's a game or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's no problem. So actually, they've got a book for the day and well, the day 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 day. Day. right, yeah. right. <laughs> so. But lately, I've been, you know, most people clean right away. And, and you know, unless it's a late yeah. evening party or something. Backing but, up, we got it. What day do they have a book for? June, July 2nd. July 2nd. And that's an end on July 3rd. Third, third is, is the ball game. And, and there's not, I don't have anything for July 4th booked because if there's a cancellation of the it's fireworks, rain day. right? Rain day. Fireworks is happening? Yeah. Yes. Sir. yes they yes. got the money together? And yes. They delivered money. I managed to go get product. I got, wow. uh, I've gotten enough to do a show. Wow. Yeah. I've got a crew and I've got a commitment for the trailer. So, and yes, sucked Randy into that. Show on the <laughs> Pardon? It sucked Randy right into that. <laughs> That's good. Well, hey, listen. Comes home to me. You have to write a check. You have to write a check for. <laughs> well, they they went over the list of who gave money in the past, and now this is through the. Did you make more of them? I gave them a list of what I what was going to cost. Let's get on a subject. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. We could talk about that for a little bit. Get back to the hey, governor. Hey, governor. We're, we're actually. We're I'm in the process of trying to put together the reservation system mm -hmm. for the calendaring. And, the and, 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 and at this point, I'd recommend keep it as simple as you can. Thank you. And the now we're really the guinea pigs of this thing because it. Well, what's happening here is we are working with the hey, Gov folks, the people, there's the, the principal owners are the same people who also own mm -hmm. town web design. That's right. We have it, and we're the first ones that have the mm -hmm. access to it, but we're making changes as we go along trying to accommodate, well, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? And so they're benefiting, we're benefiting. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it, it's kind of a mutual development process. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the options are there. How then do we do it? There was only going to be a ability to put a single picture. Right. Well, we have, we have different meeting rooms. We have a pavilion. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so... We'll get different pictures, but how I was gonna say it, and the pictures the would probably would be good to put on there. I mean, yeah, some yeah. people would like to see what what well, there is. Yeah. It looks like first before we yeah. Right. So that this is as far as I managed to get, mm -hmm. and then I was going to put this list, and it was going to be a real simple thing. I was just going to go through this, and it's not going to be a problem. Oh boy! Yeah. <laughs> so I ran into everything. That's why I brought it up. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And and if we keep it. You you get your name on the list and you got it and that's it. You got it for the day. Yeah. Yep. But we did. But we did talk about having the pavilion as separate. Is that it separate? Is. Yeah. Yes. it is separate okay. in in the ordinance. So you know? so that we could actually do, do separate separately in mm -hmm. online. And what I want to do is I want to get a picture of it 
daytime, mm -hmm. sunny, let them see it. Mm -hmm. Nighttime, lights on, you can see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and so that, that still is valid to have a separate charge for the pavilion. So to start off keeping it simple, you know, basically they book the building for the day or whatever. Then when do we have a time frame? Do we want to start saying, well, we want to have this broke up by a certain time frame? Like say like uh, a year from now, we'll then have that room separate, this room separate, and the pavilion separate. We can modify the parameters for any one venue okay. or add venues. Mm -hmm. We can we can do that at any point in time. And it's just like with our town website, we have control over mm -hmm. it, or we just say, hey, God, I need you to mount, now make two of these. Mm -hmm. And we can go through that with our Because when people actually book this room, do, do we have repeat people? Like, oh, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. So then that's Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts for age. And they're the ones who are going to be, gonna be blindsided, I think, think eventually. Yeah. When they turn around, they say, well, we normally book the whole place, and all of a sudden, now you have this group going on. No, 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 we're talking repeats. Okay. So we're talking about, can we repeat this? Is this a, is a monthly event? Right. Mm -hmm. And do they always meet on the same month, mm -hmm. the same day of, you know? So that's, those are things that we're working on. Right, mm -hmm. right. How well, like I'm saying, though, even though they're the repeats, eventually we're going to want to be able to tell the repeats of, well, now we have another group that wants to book on the pavilion on this same day that you normally had the whole run of the facility. Right. So well, that's something that'd be down the road, though. I think we've only ever really rented the pavilion one time. One day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that, I mean, that's in, if you look backwards, right. that's what right. we had. Right. Okay. For a wedding. They had a wedding mm -hmm. pavilion, they had a reception, mm -hmm. they had the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. But they paid two separate things. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's. That's all I got. I will keep it as simple as I can. Like, yep, keep I'm it simple. Keep, I'll look at, we'll look at it again before we actually put it out there. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I'll have additions and changes here yeah. too. Well, I, I know. You know, I know. I'll so, have to go so through it. As it is right now, the person rents the building, they're going to get both rooms and it's going to be for right, the day. For the day. Right. Mm -hmm. if you know they're, they need set up in the morning if they're going to rent in the afternoon. Uh, so it's, 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 it gets confusing, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's a, those are options to consider, mm -hmm. and that's why I brought it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Larry. That's yeah. a lot of work. Uh, yeah. There's a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ruth, you got some beer licenses. Huh? Yes, yes. What you I got? have the Maple Athletic Club, and um, it's for their $10, ten dollars for their beer license, and Jim Grovogel. Dolores Brown and Holly Melvitz. Melvitz, yeah. Holly Melvitz. Leader. That's for a bartender license. And I stopped by, what's his name? Joe Gilson and Johnny were sitting outside yesterday, and Joe turned in there and I said, I want to talk to them. I said, I want your license by today. Well, he came oh. like this afternoon uh, with the papers. So I just sent their. Uh, legal ad into the pulse mm -hmm. and um they i have johnny not johnny um his Jesse. name is henry but it's joe Gilson, and he he wants four bartender licenses he, he has his application and three more are coming to me but he paid for all of them so we will so, do those next month then? yes or, yes or it, it has to be published in the yes, paper right. for, so for the class B. Four, oh him and three others okay yes so that, okay, so that's yeah, it's, it's, yeah, the four, it would be 30 days, right? Yeah, this, the 250 is for the, for the CJ's bar. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're approving license. We're just doing, uh, yes. Dolores Brown, Dolores, Dolores, Malvitz, Malvitz, and the Maple Mets beer license. Maple beer yeah. license. Mm -hmm. Operator's license. Mm -hmm. It's all been published? Yes, and it's all. It's, no objections? Nope. I make a motion to approve the um, beer license and operating license of uh, Dolores Brown, Jim Grovel, and Holly Melvis. And the Mets. And the Mets. The Maplewood Mets. Mm -hmm. I'll second that. Motion made and second to approve Dolores the license. As we mentioned, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, moving on to the town siding. We have we approved it last month, but what we found out in the town siding is that we have downspout, we have two options. But here's our situation 
is, is, is we can all put the, put those on and see what we're doing here. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean that. No, but bring your pets around. As as you can see, we have we have to put down a board on the bottom, and it was a, it was in the original proposal, but we didn't talk about that, and so we're we're talking about a base board that added another eighteen hundred dollars to to the cost of, of our uh, okay. on the bottom of the It's not the must, you gotta do that. And I think it's a must to make it look right. right. Yeah. yeah. And so, so I would need approval to approve $1,800 of additional cost uh, for the town siting. We originally approved the- uh, Do we need an motion? Yes, we would have to, that was over. Yeah. So you need the- uh, we originally approved twenty thousand four hundred, and now the new price is twenty two thousand two hundred. So what are yeah. they? What is the eighteen hundred? What we're talking about is this base. Oh, here. Okay. All, yeah. all the way around. Uh -huh. yeah. Because we had the we had the issue mm -hmm. every okay. Okay, and the spout downspouts are downs, and then then there will be extra charges for downspouts and fixing the corner eaves. We don't need new eaves drops, but uh, we need new downspouts, and that's a separate. Mm -hmm. That would be that would be separate for a minor amount. So those costs our bid cost now is twenty two thousand two hundred. Okay, I make a motion to accept the twenty two thousand two hundred dollars for the uh, additional. Um, Called base, we call it baseboard or baseboard, yeah. baseboard, yeah, baseboard, and for downspots, is that the one? No, downspots would be that's separate. Right. That would be separate. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. So base, it would be, yeah basically yeah. twenty-two thousand two hundred yeah. plus downspots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. downspots. Yeah. So there's the issue. I'll second. Motion made to second. All in favor, please. Anybody saying aye? Aye. aye. Approved. Motion is carried. So now that would be twenty two thousand two hundred for the additional baseboard. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That would be the total. Okay. Yep. Plus the plus the will plus, be plus plus the down for yeah down yeah. So no, that's that, still coming. Okay. Yeah. Another question we have. Our sign here. Remember, the boards are going to be vertical, and these letters will not fit. First of all, letters are the wrong color; they're not, they're, you won't see them. So we really can't use the letters too much. The existing, the existing ones. This little device right here, we paid. I paid fifteen dollars on an auction board. Remember that a few years ago? Oh, yes. Notice board. <laughs> notice board. Do we need that anymore? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We do. Put our notice. Okay. Yeah. We sat down there plus the website. It was suggested okay. we contact the sign company and put us make a sign and put it that on the town hall. My suggestion is, is that rather than buy a sign, which will cost you four or 500 bucks, we could buy a new notice board and just have the name of our town hall right here. And no other big name on the, on the building. Or we can have a separate sign on that side saying Forceful Town Hall. <laughs> <laughs> well, get a bigger board with our name above yeah mm -hmm. yeah it would cost us about the same amount to get a brand new board versus getting a sign to back mm -hmm. onto the to, to, to the building we don't have to decide mm -hmm. now but that's something you can think about you gonna is anybody gonna see that although do we have a sign out that? there we have a sign but we have it says park Department. Yeah, but it doesn't say town of Forest. And if you uh, if you go past Russell's Town Hall and you drive in the, that's the first thing I see when I drive into the really? Forestville Town Hall. Yeah, but it says Brussels Community mm -hmm. Center on top says, here. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it says Brussels Town Hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the side. On the side. And you can see that very plain. I, I don't see this, but I see this. Mm -hmm. I just did that today. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's no, I, I I'm not sure. Yeah, I know. Um, well, like you said, we don't have to make that decision. No, no, but right. you know, right. something else exactly. would present itself before that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this idea. Yeah. So think about all your like, no, 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 like, like here. Yeah. If you look at like this, you could even, it, okay, now that board is, oh, okay, it's just the way it's located. I was going to say a guy could almost have had the sign put here and then had the board, but then that's going to change the whole thing. Yeah, the board, this board comes off. Because mm -hmm. we're, we're leaving that. 
overhang there, right? Oh yeah, that's this is thing. Yeah, that's okay. thing. See, I was kind of hoping that the stone worked at your eyeballing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So this is cool. You'll get that when Larry, you and Larry put in the air conditioning and the stone work. Okay. <laughs> the air conditioning is a health issue. That's what Red River. That's what they did with their. You should see yeah, our whole hall in Napa Valley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, come on. Yeah, but but I don't know seriously. No, yeah. You know when you think about a scene, you're putting up. You're gonna have Tyvek on. Mm -hmm. You're gonna improve the seal of the right. building. Right. But then you're. We have not high filtration right. or movement of air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have a problem. And, and we could potentially have issues. Mold. We could. Yeah. I don't have a, I don't have a time table for when they're gonna do the siding. It'll be sometime this summer. Mm -hmm. that's, that's all I can tell you. Okay. So all I have on that. Okay, moving on to roads and road work. Uh, we got our invoice for the month of May that was payable this month, and it was 4,917. That was for three events that we had in February, which was pretty reasonable as far as, you know, there were light snow jobs, and but it was constant, we had sanding, so that was, uh, that's what we did there. And Larry, Jason and I did the tour, all hundred and some odd miles back and forth, and we found dead trees. Really? We found, we, we found holes, okay. we found bad signs. And so we replaced the ready. They have replaced the bad signs mm -hmm. on North Forest Drive, West Carnet Road, Rosewood Road, and Guyer Road. We placed the I like those little yeah, yellow signs. Yeah, those are nice. I think they're, they're serving nice the program. We we've done that, and uh, and fixed the holes on Maplewood Road. So uh, we we and then we fixed the potholes. We found potholes on East Carnet Road. We found. The potholes on Midwood Road, we found County Line Road bad and West Center Road. Okay, okay, and then we uh, needed some gravel on Mill Road. I didn't go up to see if that was done yet. There, I know they repaired the spot on, on uh, Stone Road. The next thing we did, we looked at chip ceiling. And this is a decision we'd like to get tonight, but we would want to go. First of all, you know we're going to do West Center Road on the west outside of Mill Road. I have no idea when the timetable for that is going to be. Uh, our highway commissioner is waiting to make one per bid for all of the asphalt that needs to be purchased by a private supplier. And there's more than just us. So he's going to combine our project requirements to be, we have to purchase from out, we have to spend $18,000 from an outside supplier for asphalt. Mm -hmm. And but there's other ones that are going to be. So he wants to do it all at one time. Okay, so we really don't know what that cost is going to be. We don't, well, we know. Well, up to 18. Yeah, yeah, we know what that cost is, but we don't know what he's going to put that bid, that baggage together as of today. Oh. I don't, I asked him last week, he still didn't know yet. But uh, so the, the other thing we looked at, Jason and I looked at, um, Who's chairman of the county highway department? Facility, it's the highway and facilities. You know the county board? From the county board, yeah. That's another story. Okay. <laughs> uh, but we looked at roads that we could use chip ceiling on. And Cherry Lane was one of them. Okay. And that's between Highway 42 and, and Mill Road. And that was uh, uh, 2,500 feet there. Mm -hmm. And then we looked at Nazi Road, 1,849 feet there. And then we looked at East Center Road, that's between S and North Carnet, that's 5,250 feet. And then we also looked at Stone Road, 5,250 feet. So I rode with Brian Pappen from Scott Construction. And he said, well, if you're gonna to wanna to do East Center Road, that's to do uh, apply a hot oil seal and seal coat, with uh, the black chips on mm -hmm. what they're using. And that's 24,523. He's just giving me these quotes. Okay. Uh, Cherry Road would be 11,666. Nazi Road would be approximately 9,661, a little bit shorter. And Stone Road would be 24,639. Now, the reason why we looked at Stone Road is that Stone Road is good, it's great. We would be, it's been out there for about eight years now. And yeah. this is the time you start thinking about trying to protect it. That doesn't have to be done. 
East Texas definitely should something be done on that. Mm -hmm. uh, my question is, should we put up, we have to post requesting for bids. If we just do Cherry Road and Nazi Road, well, we wouldn't have to go out for bids. Less than 25,000. But if you put East Center Road in there, well, then we were up there 25,000, 36,000, and uh, we're, we're spending uh, almost 50,000 for the whole, for doing those three roads without Stone Road. So I guess we, I think we do have it in our budget. We could do those three chip ceilings. We could we spend 50, don't you think so, Ruth? Is that what right. you're? Because we will be spending hundred and almost two hundred thousand for the east, for West Center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should we just do the, the small roads of Nazi and? Well, Terry? I'd have to figure that out. Yeah. Or should we just do East Center? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking just doing the two small roads. Two small roads, right? I mean, yeah. being conservative is what I'm looking at. So, and then do are those the two worst roads? Or is there, they'll need it. Yeah, yeah that is, this is the road between Mill Road and Highway 42. That's the Cherry Road. We, mm -hmm. we did Cherry Lane on the other side of 42. I did that one before. Which, well, they're all traveled, I guess. Yeah. You yeah. have to know this month for. As no, as we don't have to. Lives. Uh, this yeah. month of May, uh, May June, uh, they're, they'll be scheduling these mm -hmm. in July and August. Is when they will start scheduling yeah. mm -hmm. this. But we need to know whether we're going to. Right, right. Yeah. 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 Whether we're going to do them or not. Mm -hmm. We didn't do chip ceiling now, I think, for mm -hmm. two or three years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we're, all we've been doing is rebuilding. Yeah, yeah. right now. We mm -hmm. built a big project last year. But these are the kind we can save now. Yeah. I mean, to me, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I've always so, been a fan of money back just, from just the because center, West center, it, right? it, it does some, yeah, a difference. I mean, some. look at how long it, it actually saved. Uh, it was an old Elm Road there for quite a few years at Chip Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. It. See, our, our total cost of municipal funds for our TRI mm -hmm. will be $186,800. We got to exceed that in uh, year. And uh, we're going to be, uh, yeah, we're. Uh, So to me, some of these person could take those in stride, like one year, do like this one, it's and then that so one another year, or, or both in one year, and then just or do these on, two, yeah, or those two, highway and two. then split this up, these two one oh, year, right. and those two one year. Because mm -hmm. if you look at the way those, well, these two are close together. That's right. That's yeah. why. That's why they'd be yeah. the better ones to do yeah. at the same time. Yeah. 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 I I really think that'd be a better bet. The small ones. Mm -hmm. And do you center over here? Yeah, that's that was my thoughts. Mm -hmm. You might be better off doing it that way. Two kids are too small ones. How bad are they? You guys saw in the spring. I didn't. They're they're holding. They're about the same as last year. Like the rating was still the same. Yeah, I'm right saying right right. right. mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. So, but you, you can just see that they're starting to get a little bit of grass going. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool. just going to get. Yeah, I remember work. that when we saw that when we were right. down there. Yeah, that's where my thoughts were. Let's try to save them now while we can, and then yeah, focus on one of the bigger ones later on. Yeah. Cherry Road, Nazi Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that'd be a right route to go. Yeah, that would be a. We got, uh, what is it? Still spending 11,666 and 9,661. It'd be 21,300. So, you, you know, you it's the efficient thing would be to do the two small ones because it's so close together. It's just like, like, you know, when you want to start doing road work, you want to spread all that around the whole town if you can, or, or mm -hmm. you know, try and you know, spend your money all around. But in this case, we do have. Well, we did Salona Road. We did Salona, right, which is big a one. big road. So, yeah, we did a lot of work there. Yeah. So then, and then we have a bridge stuff that we have doing 
the bridges, or we get something like that going on, don't we? Signs, bridge signs are going in over by like um, on, on Stone, Stony Creek. Yeah. That should be up. They should be. Those should be done already. But anyway, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I always include all that as a whole. I mean, we're put a little bit here, got some over here. We got tree removal all over the place, and we're spreading yeah. all around our town. So that's yeah. how I'm seeing it. So we need a motion. Oh yeah, we need a motion. The total price would be twenty one thousand three twenty seven. I, I so make a motion to that effect that we do that road work on uh, Cherry, Cherry Road. Cherry Road and Nazi, Nazi Lane. Nazi, Nazi Road. Okay. Or Nazi, was right. it Nazi Lane or Nazi, no, Nazi, Nazi Road? Road. Nazi, Nazi Road, Road. Road and uh, Cherry Lane. Cherry Road. Road. Yeah. I second yeah. that. Yeah. Nazi Road. Gypsy on it. Okay. Motion is made in the second to approve a bid from a quote from Scott Construction. Scott Construction to Chip Seal, Cherry Road for a total cost of 11666 and Nazi Road for a total cost of 9661. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, let's talk about trees. Um, just give you an idea. On Maple Road, we found it. This is over and above what we talked about before. Um, let me just back up here. Um, we did approve eight trees on Geyer Road on the south side for $900, five leaning trees over Geyer Road on top of the hill by the old dump and two ash trees on Mile Road on the north side for $400. So the total price was $16.25. Uh, um, we we uh, looked at that on the 421. We were gonna verify that with Jason and I, and we did verify that, that the two ash trees on Mile Road are indeed our responsibility. They're in our right way. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I guess it would be another formal approval to accept this bid for six. 1525 from figure tree service for those trees. I make a motion to that effect that we uh, approve the expenditure of what is it, 1623? $25. $1625 to remove those trees. So okay. We're identified. Is there a second? I second that. On any further discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Approved. Now is that Geyer and Mile Road? Geyer and Mile Road, correct. How many total trees are we talking? There was uh, eight, <laughs> 15. Yeah. 15, something like that. Yeah. 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 15 trees. Okay. Now, I don't think we're, but take a look at these in your time. Uh, this is, we found Maple Road. We have some dead ash trees on, and that's on top of the hill. If you take Maple Road, go on the, on the north side. Uh, on the dead ash trees. On Salona Road, we got dead ash trees. On East Center Road, we have a dead tree, uh, even affiliated woodpeckers <laughs> in there. <laughs> South Forest Drive. Ooh, uh, big chunks. <laughs> in South Forest Drive, we got some dead trees on the north side. Brands Road, we got large limbs overhanging in the road. On Stone Road, we got dead ash trees on the east side. Maplewood Road, we got leaning trees. Again, this is uh, towards Kinards, we got some leaning trees. Uh, we also looked on Wilkie Road to do some crack filling on the center line. Louis Road, we got some center line cracks on there again. And Victus Road, uh, west of North Carnot, we got some chips uh, crack filling to be done. So that's what we're looking at. So I will be getting together with probably Mark Krieger to take a look at these trees and get, get, getting a price on that. Yeah, because it's it those trees have to be dealt with. <laughs> and that's why we're being quite conservative because we uh, yeah, spent quite a bit of money so far in just right. cutting trees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, right. But look, look what hey, we do up on ancient Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And there's a lot, of, a lot of work. Did you take there. a look at that road? Lately? No, I haven't been up there. I was kind of looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks different. Oh, yeah, it looks way, way different. Okay, road work, leading trees. Okay, we talked about grass cutting pit ditches. I think we'll be pleasantly happy with our person that we selected. Like I said, I saw his equipment and um, 
and you should be able to do a good job. Um, the other question is grass cutting. Are two cemeteries, or ballpark, in our town hall area? Our current grass cutter gave us a bid in 2009, March of 2009. He's kept the same prices oh, since 2009. Yes. Oh, my and I talked to him, Ruth talked to him, I talked to him, I said, well, Dan, uh, you know, what do you think you need? Well, I'll get back to you. Well, he started cutting grass and he didn't get back yeah. to us. He said, well, he told me the other day, five, $5 more for gas. So I don't know if it's five <laughs> for the cemetery, five for the ballpark, five for the... <laughs> Well, he's going to charge five dollars more for gas. I'll charge five dollars more. Yeah, something like that. He goes. Need a motion to approve the five dollars more for gas for cutting our gas. Yeah. For so it might be five dollars for each one, you know. But it, that is still. Time yeah. or it could be, I think it's going to be five dollars. Five dollars in each bill. D and D. Um, yeah, motion. D and D lawn care. Yeah, D and D lawn care. Yeah, yeah. Prove it. I mean, yes. DD volunteer <laughs> to cut. I'm, I'm, I'm in favor of whatever it takes there. I mean, that, that's very reasonable. Mm -hmm. yeah, he does yeah. a great job, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he does. Yeah. Do you need a motion? Yes, we need a oh. motion. Oh, I didn't know you I'll need make a motion. motion to that effect. <laughs> whatever we have to add to that. $5, Five dollars per per venue. Is that what it would be? Something yes. like that, yeah. Even if yeah. it's more. Yeah, I second that. <laughs> did you I didn't send this to all the rest of the guy? Did you see that? You didn't I, see I didn't see that, no. <laughs> that was in 2009. That was before my time. <laughs> Your jaw's dropping. <laughs> wow. wow. So Jeremy, you're made to hire D&D for 208 per cutting for a three-year period, second by that Miles, and it carried. That's what we're talking about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this was in 2000. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. I know. He hasn't raised his price. The bill, he charges same price for Mount Hale Cemetery, same time for Brookhauser. And then the ballpark, and here are these yeah. two separate charges. So yeah. the yeah. thing is coming up here fifty dollars or forty-eight dollars. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So it's, yeah. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. So it's two hundred eight, two hundred eight dollars is what. Yeah, two hundred eight dollars for yeah. every time it does all four of them. Now. So now it'd be. Well, but still. So it would about be two hundred and what. That would be another plus 20 bucks, five. yeah. Plus love plus cutting your ass. Yeah. Or he said whatever it cost last year, it was five dollars more. So I don't know if, it, right. if over the years it went up five dollars. I don't know. But that's what it was back We're then. very thankful to, yeah. for Dan to doing the work and it's yeah. very conscientious. He does a wonderful job. And uh very terrific. But back at, when I get contact from families about wants mm -hmm. and such, they're very impressed by what they see. Okay. I guess the nice item is. If I didn't miss anything, it should be a payment of the bills. Okay. Did we approve that? Yeah. You, yeah, that. Yeah. 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 Now, payment of bills. I just received the Maple Sanitary Sewer and Water bill today. And I thought I had the check in the blue envelope. And I thought, oh, I think it's in there. And it wasn't. So oh. I'll have to do one more check. So this will okay. be on the third page of your thing? Yep. Starting with the uh, Century Tell. 421. That's our phone bill? Yeah, that's our phone bill. Yeah. Well, that's our internet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Basically. But the the phone bill is business rate, and that's why it's, it's a business rate, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. and it's used about that four times a year. Yeah, for the for the phone machine. Right. I think they would machine. come up with something different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. check for advance. We have to pay because it's a business. We had to pay forty percent of the of our bill mm -hmm. budget mm -hmm. for the deciding yeah. yes. project. Yeah. Okay, so that was that. Yeah, that was okay. Oh, wow. And the going.
mine if they're garbage and of course like i mentioned the, the price of garbage is we're still fairly reasonable yet but what we did thank goodness that we just increased it by the cost of living which is usually be in october mm -hmm. if we would have added for the inflation rate Wow, oh my God! Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's an eight ten percent high. So, it's very uh, I did receive a check in the mail today from the county for delinquent sewer. Oh, okay. Um, and some more garbage collection. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Stuff that so you'll have to give me the tax amounts, tax. and then yeah, I can. I'll, I didn't I'll have do time the, to look. Yeah, at I'll it, do but... the checks, and then with the sewer yeah. and water one, then too. Okay. 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 All Building inspections. We have a few people putting up, uh, and that brings us to uh, mm -hmm. Ruth. Did yeah. you get a driveway permit for the new building that's going up? On... Nope. Center Road. West yeah. Center Road? Yeah. Oh, that one. You mean well, that's the other the one? That, that would came. be Dave Mitch Mitchell. Oh, Michael. 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 Dave, yes. Michael. Yes. Dave Michael. Yes. Mm -hmm. He lives there. Yes. He's probably putting up a garage. He's put a driveway in. And, yeah. I didn't. He's put an extra driveway in, yes. I don't think I, I didn't get a driveway permit. No, you just got a building permit. Building permit. And yeah. you did not see the driveway permit. Okay. Because no. he did. Sue Van de Lindenberg did tell him that he needed to get a driver. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I will contact him and so you do that on, online then? Well, I, you, I, can tell I the, you can tell him to do it online. I, I, either way. I printed it and so I'm going to have to stop in and see him. Okay. I, I see we don't have a penalty. If I, I, I read over, I guess the assume people are going to get their driveways, but we didn't put in a penalty if you put a driveway in without. Uh, Getting approval, so that's okay. I thought I'd wait till tonight to ask you that, and I found the answer. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. okay. and uh, water test, and just what you mentioned, I had, um, Jason, yeah. did nitrate test and the uh, E. coli test. Yeah. Say COVID 19 <laughs> test, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. whatever. Yeah. Oh, did you notice? Uh, yeah, you did notice. I paid the election uh, training um, mm -hmm. twenty-five dollars to the six that were here um, because I have new new ones, and that's a good way for me to keep track of their hours. I I paid them the twelve dollars, but then they all drove here, so I thought, well, they were here for that little while. It's mm -hmm. I put twenty-five dollars. I'm sure they'll be happy with that. Mm -hmm. We keep track of their training. Mm -hmm. So that was basically uh, the training the day before the election, or yeah, the, oh, okay, so the week before, mm -hmm. week before elections. So you have the training twenty five dollar, yeah, mm -hmm. stipend for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why George is doing that. No. George and it's Diane, well, yeah, oh, really? yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I have to have that both of them because well, and Ellen Levenhagen too because they're all in the Democratic Party, and oh. I don't have any in the Republican Party. That's, okay, that makes so sense. I, but yeah. I still have to use two, you know. Mm -hmm. They got the trained. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't have the um, basic training that they were supposed they're supposed to get, but I've got Monica and uh, Lynn and all the rest do have it. Joanne. Yes, Joanne. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were really surprised of what it all involved. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sure. They couldn't believe that their name is not on the ballot. What? That when they vote, that yeah. I said, do you want me to know how you vote? Yeah, they couldn't believe that. They thought all the ballots you would write had names on? Yeah, yeah. Or, or at least your number, and that way you can tell who voted. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, how can, this is my ballot. How do I know this is my ballot? It goes on the machine. You're not going to know which one is yours. No, really. Yeah, that was one of the questions. How do you know? Why? What do they teach in civics class? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the way it's supposed to be. We don't know. No, no. no. There's a secret code. Yeah. Our yeah. yeah. But I think a lot of that they were kind of confused because you get, you know, you sign in here and then you get your number. Okay, you go to the next one. They take your number and they give you a ballot. And what what are those numbers for? Well, it's just to keep track of how many people are voting. That's right. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You don't put the number on the ballot. No. Do I want to know? Do you want me to know how you voted? I can dig in there and find out who, how you voted. No, no. <laughs> That's you don't put your name way. on either. No. I don't. Yeah. Okay. It was a, a learning curve for them, I think. Mm -hmm. And all these politicians that are saying the votes are rigged, they should all work as poll workers. That's right. Mm -hmm. Every one of them. All well, they would work. Mm -hmm. Well, they can't rig them that way, but they can rig them a different way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Any more questions on our ballots? On our bills, rather, bills. I make a motion we should make a motion. Second to approve the payment of bills. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. motion is carried to pay the bills. Okay, our board of review is tomorrow from four to six. Um, that's been published. Yes, and I did not get any papers back from anyone. Um, I had um, Dennis Kahach and Dennis Halverson were the only two that asked questions. And when Dennis Halverson uh, came to pick up his fire permit, his burning permit, then I said, here's a form you need to fill out if you're gonna come. And I said, I need that 48 hours before the meeting. Okay, didn't hear from him. And uh, Dennis Kahach picked up a form and he was going to bring it back to me and I didn't get it back. So you said he's not, he's not there. No, okay. Okay. And they both called associated appraisal. So maybe they got satisfaction. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see. You mean on open book? So you, so you may not have For open, open book. book. Yeah, well, we might not have know. anybody. Right. We don't know. Yeah. We don't nobody, know until tomorrow. No, nobody sent me any objection forms. So, mm -hmm. so do you have to be here then anyway? Wow. Yeah, yeah, two hours. Yeah. Catch and okay. then, the, then on Thursday at six o'clock, we are meeting at the Bailey's Harbor Town Hall. It's the Door County unit of the Wisconsin Towns Association meeting. 19th. On the 19th, we have a pretty full agenda. We got a lot of, I think, a lot of interesting things to talk about. I think uh, evasive species will be mm -hmm. one of them. Uh, our uh, town chair from Jacksonport is uh, not feeling too good, so we'll hear how his condition is. Uh -huh. uh, he's not feeling well. And uh, then on the 27th of August, we are going to Washington Island for our town association meeting. So plan on uh, uh, put mark your calendar. You might want to stay overnight. You'd have to order, uh, get your motel room. Reservations now. Because August 27th. August 27th. That's on Saturday. It's the same set weekend as the barbecue festival. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we're picking that date is that's something to do, plus the fact that you can take the ferry and there's a shuttle service taking you to the airport where the town hall is and where the airport is, where the tall is. So mm -hmm. might want to consider that. But on Thursday, I uh, need to know who's all going. Are you going to go by yourself or three? Are we three? Mm -hmm. Yep. I can't go. I've been, I'm working at the pantry till like working so thirty or so. So yeah. it's going on. You want me to drive? Yeah, if you want. I don't know if I'll be home. You don't mind me right along. Um, you want to drive? I can drive. Okay, if you want to drive. It's... I I did text Linda that three were going. Okay. So, yeah. I was planning. Yes, I'm still yes. planning to go. Okay. okay. I I love driving. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know, Jason, right. whether I need to have a ride or not. All right. Yeah. So we'll, I'll figure it out. Yep. Uh, yep. Oh, but that's Thursday. Thursday. Yep. Um, okay. The night. I'll be driving by myself. Oh, okay. I have a meeting. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I have a meeting up until about four or five o'clock. Okay. So uh, if I get home, I might give you a call and say pick yeah, me up. Yeah. But right now, I'll have to call you. First. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Okay, and the next thing you talked about is that yes, it's a goal. We're having fireworks on July third. <laughs> it's a full event. American Legion is sponsoring the event. American uh, American Legion, uh, Maplewood Athletic Club. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, the Maplewood Athletic Club provided me money to get fireworks. Well, the uh, reason why uh, the guy that was in charge of the Maplewood Athletic Club is also with the American Legion, also. Mm -hmm. But anyway, they 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 added up money in their but in their coffers to 
underwrite the whole thing. And they, they went on and talked to uh, Trevor Marin on Friday. And he said, yes, we did cover it. So he is very happy. It's going to be a full day. There's a baseball game going on. And um, there is a Sunday. It's a third. third. There is a Sunday. Yeah, there's okay. a base, baseball game wow. going on. They're going to hope to be keeping the stand and picnics after the baseball game. They're trying to get the baseball game to start at three o'clock. Oh, okay. so that's the plan. like trying to get the the game itself going at them, and the, right next yeah. will be an apple pie contest. Yeah, yeah all American. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all American day. <laughs> all American and, day. And uh, the leader of the fireworks brigade has uh, got his shipment in. Mm -hmm. uh, Terry. <laughs> 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 I, I got the money from the athletic club to purchase what they need for the show based off of my costs mm -hmm. because I ended up with increased costs. Mm -hmm. And so I, I gave them uh, um, an estimate what it was going to be. And they provided me $4,000 to go get fireworks. Wow. So I got that. I went and I, I got all of the fireworks, like, but I don't have all of the uh, extra costs here. Right. Cause I also have to cover um, the stuff with this wing. I gotta pick up some more small fireworks. There's some, you know, food for the crew type right. of stuff. Right. So I'm still shy a little bit, but they're gonna give it to me. So I, I, they said they were gonna get 500 out of four. So, cause I needed 500. $4,500 is where I was. So that's what we're getting. We're getting there. And his, and his counterpart only has got enough fireworks for two and a half shows. So he's, mm -hmm. he's still prepared. <laughs> prepared yeah. I, I'm telling you something. <laughs> I, I'm due up for a renewal of my federal license. They need to do an inspection. Um, it was due up in December. They postponed it because they didn't have enough people or whatever. So the, I'm getting my annual, uh, my 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 federal inspection on the 25th mm. of this month. Nice. Mm. And we now have managed to stuff my magazine <laughs> to the gills. Two and a half from Sister Bay. And oh, you got some more than that. They've got more stuff up there for shows. <laughs> and then I got all this stuff for the 4th of July show. And all of a sudden, my magazine is waffle. Mm -hmm. And then they call me and say, oh, by the way, we're coming to do an inspection on the 25th. So you could have a whole complete manifest. Everything you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they want to go through it. We're fine too. They, they check everything. So in other words, don't drop an extra M80 in there somewhere. And Larry doesn't know about it. So. <laughs> Larry knows everything that's in that magazine. I've got fireworks club night stuff in there. I've got personal stuff in there. I've got shared <laughs> storage with a, another builder. And I've got Sister Bay stuff. And I got maple. Just okay, there we go. Okay, it bothers me that I got all that stuff. The next, next, thing, yeah. to inspect. The next, next thing for Danny to town business. If you have items for next month, uh, we'll be talking about the more trees again, of course. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that I have at the moment. And hopefully, we can get an update on when we're going to be doing West Center Road on that. Uh, next town meeting will be on Monday, June 20th mm -hmm. at 6 30 p.m. Okay. Do we still have to make, if we're going to go to that uh, Washington I think we'd have to make reservations now. And then, what is that something we just do on our own? We'd have to do on our own, yeah. 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 And then that's your first. Well, you'd have to stay almost. How would you get back? You wouldn't be able well, to. We good, good. Oh, we did. Last time we went, we you get back the same. Oh, yeah. It was a Saturday. Sorry, yeah, it's a Saturday. It's not yeah. anything. You just cut up early. <laughs> Well, no, no, we'll, no the we'll meeting be, is in yeah, we'll the afternoon. Done. The meeting will be at noon. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. So we could catch the late very Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah we definitely. Did. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I, uh, if you uh, let me back up, you ask the question. My intention, if I go, I try to convince my wife to do that and stay over, go on Friday and stay overnight. That would be my expense if I want to do that. I see. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, because I'm trying to figure out what we're doing here. Yeah, but uh, you, you'd uh, try to catch the 10 30 or 11. 10 or 11 o'clock ferry, and then you get a little train to take you to the airport. The meeting, you eat, eat barbecue stuff, 
And or you can take your own car. Don't they have other things going on other than the big barbecue? Mm -hmm. Don't they have like a big car show and everything going on up there too? And mm -hmm. Uh, they were, it's something. gonna. You'll see. But there'll be more than just yeah. what. Yeah. Usually the first job we were there eight years ago. It was just the barbecue. There were like yeah. six or seven people. Now it's a big event. So yeah, I was gonna say that's turned into a much larger. Oh, it was yeah. a big, yeah, yeah larger the, than that when, like when the, I went. Like the Capital Brewery sets up something mm -hmm. there too. Well, originally, they had started out as uh, I think a fish boil. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. and it's it's a big deal. Now it's gotten into a big barbecue contest. Mm -hmm. and all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff. Mm -hmm. So we'll find out Thursday. If if uh, our chair has a place for us to meet, just remember to pack your wallet. You go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If there's no further business to be done at this time, let the motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. Motion, Jason. Second by Larry. Is it Larry second? Oh yes, I'll second that. Okay. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 We are adjourned. Well,